how do you describe your school to you know the the random person? Is it is there a challenge in you know kind of describing what you do? I think it depends on who you're describing it to. I think that you know some people because of their own you know their own ideal of schooling come with their own opinions on it. I think I, I personally when I first, when I first started working here and started talking about the place that I was working in and you know it being a school was met with challenging ideals mm. you know which was a challenge for me because I felt you know why would anybody not be interested in educating their child in this way mm. but it you know it isn't for everybody and I think that the longer that you hear and that you experience you know you have the current better experience you you find your words carefully. You, you know, the, the the staff members or the adults and the families that that stay here, you know, become embedded in the philosophy and therefore, mm. you know, feel confidently about it. So therefore, they 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 speak that to to others. And I mean, I think that you know, part of it is that allowing the children to talk for themselves. You know. Yeah. And when we have information mornings and we have days where, you know, outside families come in for, uh, you know, to, as potential, you know, families into the school, that the children, the older children are always brought in to talk. And part of the feedback, one, the most positive in feedback is that when, when the families and the adults hear the children speak from their own perspective, they're always sort of so blown away by their ability to communicate. And so that's sort of, you know, we can sell it as educated staff members, but when the children who come here talk about it from their perspective, that's the greatest selling point, I think, for anybody. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.